Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now I'd like to be outside testing, but it's very windy outside. So if I go out there, the audio is going to get bad. Having some audio issues, issues lately. Um, okay, so what we're doing today is we've got the 20 meter Hustler that I've told you about. We've got the mag mount. And this time I've got the mask that goes underneath it. You guys said that it's supposed to have a mask underneath it, and I did not know that. Didn't have it either. It's not easy to find actually. So I've got the 22 inch mast, I've got the Hustler, and I'm, I'm gonna run an SWR test on that, on my vehicle. Then I've also got the Whisper transmitter, and I'm going to hook that up and show you where I'm getting out to for 20 meters. I just went in and put, I, I had this in storage, and it's been in there for like six months. I had to go to my storage unit, find it. It was really hard to find, but I found that sucker. I got this little power supply for it. This is the Desktop Whisper transmitter by Zactech. Uh, I think he gave me, a, I bought it, but he, he gave me a discount on it. So let's go and look at the SWR and forgive the audio because it's gonna be messy. Hopefully you can see that we're sitting at about a 1.5 SWR and that helped out a lot. Let me go see if I can adjust that and see if we can get that even better than 1.5. If I had one complaint about this thing, it's that changing, modifying this is pretty difficult. You need a dang ladder to do it. Okay, from this vantage point, it's looking like about 1.4. And as I walk away, it gets better. So that's about as good as I've been able to get it. 1.4-ish. I'm gonna be okay with that. I'm just gonna work it. Let's put, put that uh, whisper on there and see what happens. Okay, I'm glad I have that connector set in there. If you look in the link in the description, there is an assorted adapter set that you can get, and I'm so glad I have it because I'm always doing things like this. I've got to go from BNC to PL259, and I'm connecting the whisper up to the antenna right now. Now I just need to provide power. This is just a little power device. It is a rechargeable battery. It's got two USBs. If I provide power to that transmitter, it should just start transmitting. And I haven't fired this up in a long time. All right, so we get that little status light. And we'll wait about 10 minutes and go see if we're getting a signal. So what you do is you go, you put the software, you hook this up to your computer, you download the software, pick the COM port and then you do the settings on here. And then I put picked 20 meters. It comes with a GPS device, so you don't have to worry about where you are. It just picks up where you are and then it needs power. And then once it runs, it should be running 20 meters off this antenna. And then I'll know where I'm hitting. It's a good way to test this antenna without having to just go out and hook it up. So aren't you curious to see what happens? Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now, if you want to see the results, uh, you go to whisper.net, WSPR, and then you type, go down here and put in your call sign. And if um, you pick your frequency, I was on 20 meters. That was the antenna. And I also did it in the software, which I'll show you here in a second. And so these are my results and they pop up very quickly, like within minutes. I had it running for about an hour and a half and I put, I put three hours on here just to kind of capture everything that I did. And so you can see that I got down here into Costa Rica, Hawaii. Um, these are other whisper. You can set up a listener and it will report. If it hears something, it will report it on the internet and it will be listed here. So uh, these are the listeners that heard me. And it's kind of interesting to see that I was almost entirely flat. Nothing in the south, hardly at all. Everything on the west coast and the east coast. So I get into those coasts very well, don't I? <laughs> That's kind of funny. So the whisper itself, there's a lot of ways to do this. This guy just happens to, this company, whatever happens to have just put together these really easy to use boxes. And so I think I got the mini, which I've never used. And then I got this desktop. The desktop is the most expensive, but it's also the easiest to use. You basically just give it power and then you use a GPS, you connect to GPS and it, it comes with it. And then you hook it up to your antenna and hopefully you've got a good antenna and you just run it. And so the software looks like this. I'll show you. 
so it's grayed out because I don't have the con the the uh, device connected. You come over here to the serial port. You pick your device like COM three. You hit connect. It just it just connects right away. Um, you pick your band. You can pick multiple bands, I believe, depending on your device. I picked twenty, and then I hit start. You can stop and start, and then as you pick these, there are different types of there are different things that this can do. I pick whisper beacon. Uh, you can do a signal generator. I'm not sure what that is, but you can test the signal right there in your in your shack. But all I've ever done is a whisper beacon, and that's it. It just works. You hook it up to antenna, power, and it just works. Anyway, the reason I did that, and I, I went, I had to really look hard to find that, is I just wanted to see. It's a good way to test your antennas. I'm going to start doing that, other than the the reverse beacon network. Anyway, that little antenna was great. Uh, putting that mast on it, like you like you guys said in the comments, it was a 22 inch mast, expensive little bugger. Um, but it made that antenna uh, much easier. It, it dropped down the SWR. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate everything you guys do. I love your comments. Keep them coming.